Okay, now a car travel around circular path of circle of radius 5 meter at a rate of 60 revolution per minute. Find its angular speed in radian per second. Okay. Okay, find the angular speed in radian per second and also its uh, linear speed around the circle. Okay, uh, so actually uh, we can imagine this car travel around a circular path, right? Uh, like this. Uh, okay, something like this. Uh, find the angular speed in radian per second. That means this car, you yeah, try to make a uh, turn in a circular path. So it's like... Uh, Okay, ah, uh, angular speed is like uh, how much angle he turn per second, yeah? So it's like this, uh, omega. Lah. Okay, we want to find uh, what is the angular speed of this car. How many angles? How many angles he made per second? Okay, because the unit is uh, radian per second. Okay, uh, and then the li uh, this is the omega. Uh, this is the omega and then the linear speed is v yeah linear speed is v which is this one uh, which is this one okay uh, the linear speed of this car uh, the center of circle is this one yes here is the center of circle this is the center of circle and this is the linear speed of the car uh, this linear speed the unit is in uh, meter per second uh, okay so we want to find the linear speed also and the omega so uh, what do we have we have the radius of the circle okay uh, this is the r so uh, ah, this is the r lah. yeah uh, how far is the car from the center of circle you see this is the circle he makes okay this is the circle of uh, the uh, the circular path of the car so this is the radius of the circle uh, radius of the circular path okay Radius of a circular path, which is 5 meter. Uh, and then at the rate of uh, 60 revolution per minute. So this is actually the frequency. Yeah? But the unit is in revolution per minute. So we have to change it to uh, radian per second. Okay? So how? This one we can find. Uh, uh, this one we can find the omega. Okay? We can find omega. So uh, let's look at how we do it. Yeah? Question A. Uh, it is given uh, omega, okay, uh, how can we say, uh, first of all, frequency is 60 revolution per minute. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it means 60, it makes 60 revolutions, sorry, it makes 60 revolutions in one minute. Uh, he makes 60 circle, 60 circle in one minute. So, now I want to find omega. Omega is how to change uh, revolution to radian because uh, omega is in radian per second. You see that radian per second. Uh, so, uh, so we just uh, uh, we we know that we know that uh, one revolution is uh, sixty radian. Eh, no, no, one revolution is sorry. One revolution is two pi radian, isn't it? One circle. One circle is two pi radian, uh, and then also uh, one minute is uh, sixty second. Uh, so what do we do? How do we change the revolution to radian? Uh, we multiply by sixty. Um, eh, no, no, no. Revolution. How to change to ra uh, revolution? How to change to radian? We multiply by two pi. Uh, the below. How to change minute minute to second? Uh, we multiply sixty. Uh, so. So what you can say is uh so this one okay I can uh, I rewrite over here okay ah uh, so we multiply uh, we multiply two pi and then uh, one minute we multiply sixty seconds so what do we get for omega okay omega uh okay omega is uh let's calculate yeah let's calculate ah uh, so the answer is uh. 6.28 6.28 radian 6.28 radian per second ah okay ah so uh, how do we change basically if you look at here
how do we change uh, revolution per minute to radian per second? We multiply 2 pi over 60. Uh, okay, so again, uh, you want to change from revolution per minute to radian per second. Okay, I did taught you before about this, how to change revolution per minute to uh, revolution per minute to radian per second. You just multiply uh, 2 pi over 60. Uh, multiply 2 pi over 60. Okay, uh, so you will get this answer. Uh, yeah, because we know that one revolution is 2 pi and one minute is 60 second. So revolution per minute, revolution per minute, you just multiply 2 pi over 60. Uh, 2 pi over 60. So you will get the unit in radian per second. Right? Alright, now let's continue. Um, it's okay. We have solved for A. So the answer is 6.28 radian per second. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, that's correct. Now, want to find the linear speed, yeah? The speed of this car. Okay, so now, uh, okay, alright. Okay, so how about linear speed? Linear speed, the unit is what? The linear, the linear speed unit is meter per second. Remember that, yeah? For SI unit. Uh, so, now, uh, to do that, uh, to do that, we want to find V. We already have omega. We already have omega, so it's easy for us to find V because V is R omega. Uh, that's it. Yeah. And uh, for V, we need the R. Yeah. The relationship between V and omega is simple. Just R omega. Uh, v equal R omega. So R is the you know the radius of the circular path. Radius of circular path is five meter. Ah. Uh, so you just just use that five meter. Uh, this radius already in SI unit meter. So we can just use the five meter. So 5 meter times the omega, which is 6.28. So uh, what's the answer? Yeah? 5 times uh, 6.28. Okay, so the answer is uh, ah, 31.4. 31.4 uh, meter per second. Ah, that's the speed. 31.4 meter per second. Okay. Uh, so that's the answer. Yes, that's correct. 31.4 meter per second. Okay, very simple. Uh, that's the speed of, you know, the speed of this car at the circular path. Uh, we want, you want to know what is the speed of this car when doing a U-turn. Uh, so the speed is, I just write here. The speed of this car at the path, it, at the circular path is actually uh, 30, you know, is actually 31.4 uh, meter per second uh, whereas for the omega the angle he makes per second uh, he makes uh, 6.28 uh, he makes 6.28 uh, um, he makes 6.28 radian per second okay uh, that means this car he makes uh, in, in one second in one second he makes 6.28 radian angle 6.28 radian angle Whereas the speed of the car is in one second, in one second he travel thirty one point four meter circumference. Uh, he travels thirty one point four meter circumference. Uh, that's the that's the meaning of this linear speed. Okay, so okay, that answer is correct. After I check with the final answer, thank you. Okay, remember revolution per minute is multiplied two pi over sixty to get radian per second.